<laughs> right, we've actually got a bit of a scoop tonight because we've managed to uh, talk to someone who's been in the ring with Conor McGregor and we've been recording the sec. Louis Adolfi, a weight from London who's 6-0. I'm about to call him now and hear what he says. So, yeah. What, what's, the, uh, what's the number one question people have been asking you since they found out that you have been sparring him? Uh, do I think McGregor has what it takes to beat Floyd? Okay, I'll ask you then. Do you think McGregor's got, it, got what it takes to beat Floyd? Um... Well, like I, like, like I said to everyone else, um, McGregor's very unorthodox. So, it's, it, uh, us, because Floyd being Floyd, the fact is Floyd Mayweather, yeah, yeah. and from a boxing point of view, I'm going to say no. Right. But the fact that, um, how can I pull it? The fact that I've sparred McGregor, yeah. and I've seen how unorthodox he can be, from from like maybe McGreg like a USC sort of person's point of view, and from my own point of view, I'd say he he does. There is a possibility he does have what it takes to beat Floyd. You say unorthodox, uh, Louis. Can you yeah. talk us through like sort of how he what he's like when you're sparring him? Like what what's his stance like? What's he doing with his hands? Um, when I sparred him, obviously he's an awkward southpaw. Yeah. Um, so all southpaws are awkward at the best of times. Yeah. Um, he also he's got very good footwork. He 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 can work his feet to get behind you. Um, he's got how else can I pull it? He's got very very good like timing. Mm-hmm. He's got a great timing, and uh, it's just more to be honest. It's his movement. He like. A standard boxer, they walk forward, they step to the left, they step to the right. But it's like Connor, he's, he sort of takes like giant leaps, and it, and within two leaps, he's behind you. Do you know what I mean? Right. Okay. So yeah, um, that's to be. So yeah, it's, it's more his mo- movement and things like that that I'd I'd say really makes him um, unorthodox. To be yeah. fair. That's gonna say. Um... When you first, I've I've done some sparring in the past, and when you first step in the ring with someone you've never stepped in the ring before, you, you have that think that thought in your head, what they're going to be like. What did, yeah. was he anything like you expected when the first bell went? Um, no, do you know what? I, to be honest, if I'm telling you, I thought it'd be a lot easier than he was. Right. Um, he weren't as he weren't as easy as I thought he was. Um, and do you know what? His, his power was rough. I thought he would be strong. Yeah. I knew it'd be strong to be fair, and then, um, but I didn't think it would be as difficult as as, unorth- as unorthodox as he was. It, so when I got in there, he sort of caught me by surprise a bit. Right. Okay. And I didn't realise his timing would be as good as it, as it was. So it took me probably took me a couple of rounds to sort of get to know, like get to, like to sort of come to terms with his style because it's not like. Any, it's not like your average boxer style, so it, it took me a couple of rounds to sort of, you know, get my claws into him and that. Louis, you got 